Hey man, say man. Z half in the back of the building, aka her Santa. So today, I got a very interesting video, man. Today I'm finna be talking about handsome men game. You know how handsome guys should move. And it's different from, from other guys. So if you're a naturally handsome dude, you're a naturally good looking dude, or maybe you are an average looking dude, but you improve your looks, you know what I'm saying? You 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 starting to you you are looks maxed, you're getting in the gym, you're getting in better shape, you're looking better, your your skin is clearer, whatever. Basically, you are improving yourself and you're looking better and you're starting and you're starting to realize that you have more options. If you're a decent looking guy or handsome looking guy, you have to move different. You cannot move the same way as a guy who doesn't look good or as opposed to how you moved in the past, okay? As a handsome guy, you have to move differently. Let me explain. So, what I've noticed, not even just in my personal life, but from other guys, like I, I've just, I've just noticed this with women and men, I, just time and time again. Um, let's say. You can take a dude, let's say he's a seven, which is pretty attractive. You know what I'm saying? Five, in my opinion, is like average. Five is not bad, it's just it's average. So if you're a seven, that's pretty attractive. So let's say you have you have a guy who's a seven. If you're a seven as a a seven as a guy, you're gonna notice that you're gonna be uh approached by five and below. Maybe six. Actually, no, I take it back. Sometimes six is two. Six is six and below are going to be all over you, right? You will get approached mainly by five and below, but sometimes six as well. And you won't really get approached by girls who are seven and higher. That's not going to happen. So if you're a seven in terms of looks as a guy, and that's all you have, just looks like you don't have any money, you no know, status, and you're just you're a seven. In terms of attraction, you are a seven. I personally, what I've seen, you are not going to be approached or get choosing signals by women who are a seven or higher. That's not going to happen because women, women are hypergamous. They want a date up. So the only girls that you'll be able to get, like the only girls, I'm not going to say the only girls that you'll be able to get, the only girls who will be on your body heavy, the girls who will be like giving you choosing signals like crazy, just find any reason to talk to you, come around you. They just, they just want to be around you. They want to smash you is usually going to be a five or a six and below, okay, if you're a seven as a guy. And it's your job as a handsome guy to use discernment. Like, as a handsome dude, you cannot move like a thirsty guy because that will bring your attraction down. If you're a seven, you have to act like it. And the way you act like it is you don't give women who don't look as good as you the world. Like, you cannot simp over women who don't look... I mean, you shouldn't be simping in general, but in particular, you really shouldn't be simping over girls who don't look as good as you. So, if you're a seven and a five woman, a woman who's a five, is trying to get at you, like she on your body heavy, you cannot interact with her as if she's a seven or higher. I'm sorry. I know it sounds fucked up. I know it sounds kind of mean, but I'm telling you, this is where the dating game gets fucked up because dudes who are who have significantly more value than the woman start simping or acting like the girls on their level. You have to let these girls know, listen, you're not on my level. You don't have to say it. Don't say it. All right. Don't say it, like, listen, baby, you're not on my level. Don't say it, but it's shown through your actions. You don't text her back as fast. You're not really pressed about it. You kind of hit her up whenever you want. When she's, when she's, when she's talking to you, you're kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, you're not like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, like, it's just whatever. Talking to her is like, it's like whatever. And I'm not, and I know other guys, other rep guys in the Red Bull space will say like, handsome guys got to stop sleeping with fives and sixes and fours. And I kind of disagree with that. I mean, it's up to you. If you want to do that, if you're a seven as a guy and you want to sleep with a five, I mean, okay, that's up to you. But what I really would not do is like court her, jump through the hoops to like try to try to get her or, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I wouldn't do that because then you're going to make her start to think like, hey, okay, I guess I'm a seven. I'm getting courted by this seven. I guess I'm a seven now. So yeah, I'm going to start moving like I'm a seven. Like, no, this is what this, y'all wonder why women have such high egos because 
guys who are above them on paper start treating them like they're equal. Like, no, we're, we're not equal. And not from a human standpoint. Of course, we're all equal in that aspect. But in terms of the sexual marketplace, we're not all equal. There's definitely a hierarchy. There's definitely people who look better than other people who have more status and money. Like, bro, there's clearly a hierarchy. So as a, as a handsome guy, you have to, basically, you have to act the part, okay? You can't just be, you can't just be, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to, a way to describe it in a nice way, bro. You can't just be treating every girl like she's a 10, okay? Personally, I, I this is this is how I look at it personally. If I'm a seven as a guy, and most women want you to jump through the hoops, they want you to court them, take them on a date, get to know them, you know what I'm saying, and it, do all these things, which I don't mind. I don't mind going through the, the courting process to getting to know a woman, and you know what I'm saying, that's cool. I'm not doing that for a woman who looks less attractive than me. I'm only doing that for a woman who is also a seven. Or above seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not going to jump through hoops and be a provider and be a protector and be, do all these masculine things and give my all to a woman who looks at, less attractive than me. I, I look at it like this: a woman's primary agency is her beauty, her looks. So that's really your only. I mean, it's not her only job, but that's her main job. If you don't even beat me in that department, what, what are we talking about? Like you know, what I'm saying I, I know it sounds fucked up. I'm sorry, but bro. What are we talking about? I'm not dealing with a woman who looks less attractive than me. That doesn't make sense. And y'all shouldn't either. The, now, now, here's the other thing. Here's the other side about being handsome. Depending on the level of, of how handsome you are, you can intimidate a lot of women. Because, again, women are the ones who are, who are supposed to be the, the, the beautiful sex. They're the ones who are supposed to be the looks. So if you come in and you look better than her or you look really good, she's going to become intimidated because most guys aren't beautiful. Most guys aren't handsome. So if you're a really handsome guy, she may become intimidated and she may reject you. She may like, she might, she'll say any dumb shit, but she'll reject you just because she's, <clears throat> I don't like using the word insecure, but that's really what it is. A lot of, y'all got to be mindful. Uh, there's a good amount of women who will reject you. Or try to like downplay your looks because they're intimidated by your looks. You get what I'm saying? And if you're a really handsome dude, some girls will get intimidated by it. No, some girls will like it. Some girls will like throw themselves at you. But then there are other women who will become intimidated by it. And they'll try to downplay it. They'll try to act like you're not all that. Because it, it, it helps their ego. They don't want you. Like a lot of women will try to like bring you down and, and like crush your ego. Because they feel they, they hate seeing a nigga with a, with a big ego. <clears throat> so you got to be mindful of that. Just if you're a handsome dude, you know where you stand. You know that you look good. You don't need validation from women. Don't let them try to, you know, uh, crush your ego or downplay your looks. You know where you stand. So that's that's another thing about, about being a handsome guy. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, when it comes to like the women throwing themselves at you, it's really up to you if you want to act on it. Um, you know, when I was younger, and I don't maybe this is oversharing, but fuck it, y'all my nigga, so I'm gonna just say it. When I was younger, man, I could get a bunch of girls, and I was wondering why, and I never understood why. I could get a bunch of girls who look less attractive than me. So let's say back then I was like a six. I could get a bunch of fives and fours and threes easily. Easily. I could get a bunch of three, fours, and fives easily. But eventually, man, when you sleep with a bunch of threes and fours and fives and women who are less attractive than you. And it's like, and you'll know because once you have sex with them, it's like, damn, I don't even want to be with this woman anymore. Like I, there's nothing. I only, I only wanted to have sex with you. That is it. That's how you know, like you weren't really attracted to her. And you'll start to realize you gain nothing from sleeping with a bunch of women who are less attractive than you. Like it, it, it's not fulfilling. And when I was young, I used to just be slaying threes and fours and fives. If it's, so let's say I was a six. You slay a bunch of fours and fives. It's like, then what? Like, it, what's next? It's, it's, it's pointless. And that's like, eventually, you want if you're a six, you want a six woman. You want a woman who looks as good as you or even better than you because she's supposed to be the, the, the beautiful sex, right? And <clears throat> the thing is, you really have to... Again, it comes down to discernment 
in having, uh, what's the word? In having uh, discipline. There are going to be women who throw themselves at you as a handsome guy or women who make it easy for you. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you should go for. Just because a woman makes it easy for you doesn't mean that that's, that's the right choice. Again, if you're like a seven, eight, nine guy and a five or a six makes it easy for you, of course she's going to make it easy for you. But it's up to you to be like, nah, it's okay, I'm good. She's not up to my standard. Basically, what I'm saying is you have to have a standard. You definitely have to have standards. If you're an attractive guy, you are exceptional. You are at a different level. Your standards have to go up with it. You cannot act the same way like you did before. Because that, that will it will lower your value. If you're a sev if you're an attractive guy, really attractive guy, but all you're doing is just sleeping with a bunch of threes and fours and fives, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop doing that shit. One is fucking up the dating market, it's fucking up the dating game, skewing the market, making these threes and fours and fives, thinking that they're all that. And two, you're not going to be fulfilled. You're not getting what you want. All you're doing is just, you're going after easy pussy. And that's not good. You know, when you're younger, it's cool. But then you start to realize that going after easy pussy, when they're not attractive, when you don't actually like the woman, you don't want to be with this woman, you don't want to have more with this woman and spend time with her, go out and have fun and watch movies and do all this cool shit, you know, have companionship, you'll realize that it's pointless to go to just, Always try to sleep with women just because it's easy, especially when they're not you're not attracted to them like that. Like it's just it's just pussy to you. So that's what you got to watch out for when it comes to being a handsome guy. Um, and also another thing about being a handsome dude, a lot of dudes will become kind of intimidated or jealous by you as well. You'll notice a lot of guys will kind of like like. Dudes will kind of be like like standoff. Not every dude. This isn't every dude. Some guys will actually like think it's cool that you get a bunch of bitches and they'll like, you know what I'm saying, want to be around you. But other guys will become intimidated and they'll like kind of hate on you. And you'll notice that guys will kind of go out of their way to like talk shit about you or hate on you because you look good and they can they can see that girls like you and they're not getting the same amount of attention. And um, yeah, man, so as much as I talk about girls, a lot of dudes will become intimidated as well if you're a really attractive dude. And they see that all the girls want you. <clears throat> And it's like, it's a struggle for them to get girls. They're going to start having animosity towards you. And um, that's another thing you just got to watch out for. Like, watch out, watch the friends that you keep around you. Because a lot of dudes can get jealous too, bro. Once you start getting successful, looking better, improving your looks, a lot of dudes are going to start being jealous as well. Um, so, yeah, man. And um, I'm trying to think what else. It was, it was something else I wanted to bring up. Um... Oh, yeah. Um, and the thing is, if you're a handsome guy, don't get too consumed with your looks. Don't be one of those guys who the last thing you want to do is be like a real pretty, a real pretty boy who's like feminine. If you're a good looking dude, you still want to maintain that masculine aura about yourself. So you want to have a, a balance of both. You still want to be a rough neck. You want to be a man. You want to still act like a man. But a part of looks maxing is you know, looking in the mirror, making sure you look good. But you don't want to get to the point where you're like a, a woman taking hours to get ready in the morning. Like, no, you still need to have that masculine aura about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Women still want a masculine guy. So you need to have a balance of masculinity and looking good. So don't be consumed with your looks and trying to be a pretty boy and more pretty and feminine and soft. Like, no, you need to still be a man, still need to be, you know what I'm saying, masculine, Know what your duties are. You understand that you you need to be dominant. You're the dominant one. But also, you're working on your looks to become more attractive as well. So just be mindful. When you're on the journey of looks maxing or you're a really handsome dude, you don't want to be the type of dude that's like pretty boy handsome. Like, like he's like a pretty boy. He's like soft. He's like feminine handsome. No, you want to be masculine. Like, you want to have that masculine handsomeness, if you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, that's, that's really all I had to say about... Uh, you know, when it comes to being a handsome dude, it's pros and cons to it. It's not all, you know what I'm saying, roses and peaches and shit. Like, it's a lot of downside to it, downsides to it as well. But honestly, I think it's worth it, you know, to definitely uh, look smack, to become the most attractive that you can because I think the benefits outweigh the cons. But I'm just trying, I'm just letting y'all know both sides of, you know, uh, being handsome and also what you should do, how you should move. 
when you're handsome. Because again, you have to move differently than a guy who's not as handsome. You get what I'm saying? And the thing is, as a handsome guy, you'll get a lot of you get a lot of things that other guys won't get. Like a lot of guys will be paying for bitches, going on multiple dates. Versus when you're a handsome guy, you can basically like a girl will invite you over to the crib. You can sleep with her that night. Like you meet girls at the bar. They be, you can take them home that night. So yeah, it's it's definitely pros to it. Just all I'm saying is when it comes to sleeping with women and the type of women that you deal with, I truly believe that if you are a good looking guy, you need to have a standing. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Like you cannot. Like, but because, just think about it, bro. What's the point of becoming handsome or being a handsome guy, which is rare? What's the point of being handsome if you're going to mess with, if you're going to deal with average women? That makes no sense. Like, why, why would I do that? Like, come on, man. Y'all got to have a standard. But that's all I got for this video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, man. Peace.